Hello everyone, Nitro Productions here with a brand new review of the Siege Ironhide. Now this figure is very, very good. And I don't know if this, this review can even like say how good it is. So anyway, let's get into the figure, shall we? So this figure is kind of based off the original G1, which is like a like an old school van. But this is this is him on Cybertron, so it can't just be an Earth van. And it's a Cybertronian van. Now, my only dislike is the feet right here. One, you could easily tell it's feet. And the Siege, the siege line tends to put, like, dirt and all that on these things. And I don't think it's well-placed. Because, one, on vehicle mode, it's just out of place. It should have had some on the wheels. Could have had better painted wheels. Could have had some on that. But this vehicle mode is, like, a good brick. Like, I think that's the easiest way to put it. It's like, what were you really expecting? Like, other than... Um, the Studio Series Ironhide, you, you wanted a pickup truck, but this, you, you don't really expect much. Now, this also comes with a weapon that could peg onto here. And in display and stop motion, I don't keep the weapon on. I just take it out because, like, you know, it doesn't really match. And this also has siege ports where you could put characters like Six Guns parts on here and here and there and there. And, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it for the vehicle mode. Uh, let's go to the size comparisons. For size comparisons, here he is with um, Turbocharger's Blitzwing with the head missing. That's why you don't see it there. If you see my see my stop motion, you probably know why it's missing a head. Here he is with Deluxe Six Gun, which is a great figure, which is probably my next review. And then we have Voyager Megatron, which I just always seem to have in vehicle mode. That's how they scale. Now let's get on to the robot mode. Siege Ironhide is an amazing figure. And like I said in the beginning, I don't think this review can really explain how good he is. Now, this figure is very good. G1 accurate. I know that, uh, what is that? The classics Ironhide isn't that good of a figure, so that's why I never bought it. And this figure is just amazing. And her we're getting a repaint of Ratchet of him, definitely picking that up. Now, this figure comes with some, a accessory. Comes with this machine gun or hammer. And this is a, something I don't like about the figure. I don't really like it. It doesn't really make sense. I mean, it kind of makes sense for Ironhide, but I don't know. So instead, I just store it on the back right here. And I just give the extra gun from Soundwave to Ironhide, since in the comics he's a cop. Now, if you have someone like Six Gun, he has multiple ports everywhere. He has some on the back, some two on his arms, and one on his leg. So you could have a lot of fun putting anywhere. Oh, and right here. You could have a lot of fun putting any piece of Six Gun or, or uh, what's his name, a cog anywhere. And I think I love the feature of that. And I didn't really explain a lot of that in the Soundwave review. And for posability, he has a swivel at the head. His, his arm could go fully rotate. Arm can move out. He has a swivel there. He also has a swivel at the wrist, but it's a little tight. He has some... Um, he could... His, leg, his whole hips could turn all the way around. He has a knee joint, a swivel right here, and a pivot. For size comparisons, here he is with Energon Igniter's Blitzwing, but without the head. Because you know what happened to that head. Here he is with Six Gun. Here he is with Six Gun. And here he is with the Revenge of the Fallen Studio Series Megatron. Overall, I think this figure is amazing, and I highly recommend it to anyone that sees it. This was a pain in the butt to get since I, I always found a bunch of Chromias, Prowl, and sometimes Six Gun, which all of them are good figures, but this one's the best figure of that wave. And I think everyone knows that and wants a good classic Ironhide. And this figure is worth $20, and I highly recommend it to anyone that could find it. And I hope you all enjoy these reviews. I... I hope you all continue to support my, my new channel, and hopefully these reviews get better in the future, because I know they're not the best quality. Alright, have a nice day, guys.